So, welcome to Unit 3. In the final unit of your sketch, we're going to move beyond the traditional com composition techniques that you've learned. A typical recording is fixed. You'll, you'll hear the same music every time you press play. Well, what if this wasn't the case? Imagine a piece of music that changed every time it was played. As you may have guessed, computer code makes this possible. In this unit, we will use EarSketch to create music that is dynamic and interactive. The same kinds of techniques we learned here are also used in music jukebox software like iTunes, DJ apps, and many other interactive music applications. When you write music in EarSketch, you can ask the user, the person who's running the program, to make some decisions about how the music is created. You can also use random numbers to let the computer roll the dice to make certain musical decisions. Further into the unit, we'll learn some new ways to store data to keep our code clear and concise. Data structures allow a single entity to hold an entire collection of values. This reduces the number of variables we need. Data structures also provide a way to use the make beat uh, method that we talked about with more than one sound clip. Like strings, data structures are organized with indices and can be concatenated and split. So the final chapter, we're going to look at our evaluating correctness again, and we're going to look at the role of collaborating with um, peers and feedback and working in teams. You also learn some tips for giving and receiving uh, feedback to others. Collaboration produces a win-win situation, helping everybody involved. Strategies for collaborating effectively round out the discussion, and we will cover a step-by-step -step instructions for sharing your scripts with others as well. So let's get started. Never stop coding.